everybody. Uh, sun's going down on a on a long day here. I thought I'd I'd do a little video for you. A little while ago, we put up a video about a, a strange week where I hardly got any miles and I spent a lot of time waiting for loads and stuff like that. So I want to tell you about another recent week now. This was uh, a couple of weeks ago. We're here in October. The strange things that happened. My name is Kevin. I'm a solo driver for Creek Carrier and you're watching the joy of trucking so hit that subscribe button and sit back i want to tell you about a strange week that kind of turned out okay anyhow back along the early part of october i picked up a load and brought it to a, uh, the walmart dc in marcy new york and the delivery window started at midnight right so i uh, actually got it there just after midnight so i could so i could finish my day get it delivered and so on but because of that that load actually went on the next paycheck so I actually uh, had a live load when I picked that up in Ohio it was at 3 in the afternoon so I had to kind of hang around all day waste a lot of time and then go on duty in the afternoon pick it up so that's how I started out kind of driving late in the day next day I arrived and got it there to Marcy, New York. And because I was, I was running late anyway, I just took my time and I got it there just after midnight. The pay week ends on Friday at midnight. And I got it there at like 12, 15 or something. So that whole load, all those miles and everything went on the next week's pay. And this is the week we're talking about. So that kind of explains how the story winds up at the end. But anyhow, what happened was, as I'm moving towards Marcy, New York, I'm trying to get a pre-plan get my next load, get get figured out what to do next. There was nothing coming. The message I got was the next load available is Sunday morning. So here it is Friday night, well actually Saturday in the in the wee hours of the early a.m. So I left that uh, distribution center, drove about 18 miles, found a little place, truck stop with a really big parking lot, and it was a brand new place, so it was very nice. I wound up doing my reset there. I spent all day Saturday and, and into Sunday and actually the way my, my hours were working out, I should have reset on Monday. That's what I had planned and that's how the, the clock was running down, but there was nothing. So I thought, well, I'll make it a whole 34 hours and that way I've already done my reset. I won't, I won't just spend like 24 hours or 30 hours here and then still wind up having to reset Monday. So okay, that worked out. So I'm, I'm being adaptable and I'm, I'm, you know, going with the flow, just like the load I just dropped off, you know? It, I got it there, <laughs> like I had to I had to waste a whole day, get a live load, then deliver in the middle of the night. That's not usually my thing. I'm I'm kind of a, a day tripper, you know, like I want to start early, like five, six in the morning and find a place to stay and you know, get into the truck stop at, at five in the evening so I know I get a spot, get a good night's sleep and, and run all day. But things are a little crazy. So I reset Saturday. I'm in this little village. There's nothing really to do. So I just kind of killing time, you know. And then Sunday I take off. I got a load. I head all the way to Saratoga Springs in upstate New York. Pick up a load there. A live load. And head down to uh, Manassas, uh, Virginia with that. And take care of that. Uh, but it was a live unload. So now it's now it's Sunday. And it's a live unload on Tuesday. So I'm I'm headed down. I'm like, well, I call the asset manager. Let's try and figure something out. I, if I get there, I'll have to sit for 24 hours. So he says, let's T-call it. I said, great. Let's T-call it at the at the terminal in Mechanicsburg. Okay. So I, I get to Mechanicsburg Sunday and park there and drop the trailer. And I'm like, okay, what what's next? Get me another load out of here. Oh, we don't have anything. Oh, so okay, so I sit and I wait, and then Monday comes along, still nothing. They find me a load going out Tuesday, so I wound up doing another, pretty much another reset. So now I've taken Saturday off. Now I've taken Monday off as well, because <laughs> there, there's the freight is scarce. So this this first load I get Sunday, I wind up T calling it. In other words, it's it's split. I drop it off, and somebody else is going to take it the rest of the way on Tuesday. I sit all day Monday. They finally get me a load. I should have just kept that one, right? And, and gone on Tuesday and delivered it. But somebody else had hooked up and taken it by then. Tuesday morning, I get a load near uh, Harrisburg. Pick that load up. And it's going all the way to Illinois. Terrific. Except the delivery time 
is again two days later so I'm gonna drive 450 miles and then sit for 24 hours right so Tuesday I, I pick this load up I'm headed to Illinois I'm talking to the asset manager hey you know like I really don't want to sit around that's unproductive I take this load because there's nothing else but what can we do well let's T call this one okay so I get to the Millbury Ohio drop yard near, near Toledo drop that load Somebody else is going to pick it up the next day and take it the rest of the way into Illinois. All right, give me something else. Let's keep moving. Let's stay productive. Okay, so I dropped there in the Ohio drop yard, and then I got a live load close by Napoleon, Ohio, and it's going down to uh, North Carolina. That one is another live load. Two days later, once again, I'm in the same situation. That's the third third load in a row. Head on down that way to North Carolina, talking to the asset manager. I don't want to I don't want to get there and sit for 24 hours, you know, same story. Okay. Drop it at the Statesville, North Carolina terminal. Let's go there. So I get down there, drop that load. Now they've they've got me another load out of there. So I pick up another trailer. So this is one that somebody else has T called. They didn't want to sit around. I'm picking up somebody else's load at that terminal, heading up into Pennsylvania. That load, I did not T-call. I spent the night at a welcome center on the way up to Pennsylvania. I had a live unload the next morning. They did a real quick job. So now it's what day? Uh, I, I did a reset Saturday, and then Sunday headed, headed over to upstate New York. So uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now it's Friday. On the Friday, I, I dropped the load in Pennsylvania and went over to Ohio and picked up and got a live load there going down to Georgia that I was going to drop off in Georgia and delivered it the next day. So basically, there's my week from, from Saturday of the reset until the following Friday when I dropped that load in Pennsylvania. That's all the, all the miles I got for that week. The one that I dropped off just after midnight on the Saturday morning got included in that. So even though I had I had two days off, I had the Saturday off, I had the Monday off basically, and I T-called three loads that I, I didn't want to sit around with and, and waste more time. And with all that craziness, I still wound up with about 2,400 miles for the week because the the one that I dropped off after midnight Saturday, I got those miles added into the week. And my last load I dropped off on a Friday, so that that load got included in the week too. So it all worked out to a pretty a pretty good paycheck, but mayhem and madness all the way through. You know, uh, uh, lost lost basically two days waiting on a load, and then got loads that would have had me waiting even more. And sometimes driving at night through the night, or or picking up really late in the day and driving half the night, and and. This is the kind of stuff that's that's going on because uh, freight is getting scarce, and if you want to keep moving, you got to be adaptable, and you got to you got to kind of work with your asset manager and see what you can do to stay productive, and work the extra hours or the odd hours if that's what it takes if if you want to keep getting a decent paycheck. So that was a crazy week, <laughs> and uh, my next reset did actually happen on the following uh, Monday. My, I managed to stay busy all the way through, ran out my 70 hours and, and reset on, on the Monday after that week and did my uh, 34 in a, in a very nice place. So that's the end of that story for today and I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up and comments down below. Uh, I'd still like to know how you guys are doing, how you're seeing freight, how the market's affecting you and if, if you're staying busy or finding it, finding it hard to keep moving. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell, and thanks so much for watching, and really appreciate the comments and the feedback. I'd like to know how everybody else is feeling with the times these days. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.